Look like he's moving his tandem uh, axles right now. But uh, that's the door I'm supposed to be at. I'm supposed to be at door six. So I'm just waiting for him to move. Once he finishes, I'll back up and they will get to loading um, my box up. loaded up this is the heavier of the two loads this one's seven thousand pounds uh some of the stuff is light it's all exercise equipment as you can see nordic track everything uh treadmills and things i don't know exactly where it's going but uh this is it all right it's about 10 minutes to nine and we're headed over to do the first delivery and then i have to go back to south side to the original place to pick up uh, the second load, which will be around 5,000 pounds, about 2,000 pounds less than what I have right now. Uh, I got to go down there at 2 p.m. to pick that up, but we are currently roughly about 10 minutes away. So the facility and the reason why I wanted this load is because it was literally, the delivery spot was literally 10 minutes away from my house. This is the facility I'm supposed to be at, but as you can see, there are no cars here. Um, I don't really know what's going on, or my appointment says 9 a.m. today, but as you can see, nobody's home. I already knocked on the door once, uh, backed up to the dock. Hopefully this is the right one. It doesn't matter if it does. There's a free and empty one right there, but yeah, nobody nobody's what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to walk around on the other side of the building uh, to the customer side to see if people are up front so I'm gonna go ahead and lock my truck up and walk around real quick when I open the GPS from the app it's sending me to this location that I'm at right now but when I type in the actual address that they have on here it's taking me eight minutes away so it appears that I'm at the wrong location because nobody's here right now so I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the next location, which is technically even closer to my house, but we'll go see. Good grief, look at the diesel prices. Why is it going up right now? There's no need for diesel to go up right now. Here's the facility right here.
I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, it's 9.15 in the morning and this is the second load for C.H. Robinson. So what I have to do now is go to my bank and get a uh, letterhead for my banking information because they won't accept a, a voided check right now for C.H. Robinson so I can get paid for these jobs. And while I'm out, I'm going to go ahead and stop at the other two uh, HVAC places, see if they do contract um, deliveries and see if I can get some contracts of my own. But yeah, that's it for this video. A uh, nice little look at Siege Robinson, my first load, even though it was local. Hopefully my next one is gonna be out of state. I'm looking at this Tennessee, uh, this Florida, and uh, a couple of Ohio's. I tried the Pennsylvania. There's a Bissell warehouse here in Richmond, but I called them and they need a 53 footer. Even though the weight is not there, it was only like 7,000 pounds, but the rolls are, I guess, are longer than the 26 foot box. So I won't be able to take that load to Pennsylvania, but I'm still looking for whatever I can take. I've also signed up the TQL, uh, Truck Smarter, and You On Load. So I'm trying to get some loads to see what I can get here. Truck Smarter has a lot of C.H. Robinson loads on their board, so that's cool. Maybe they got loads that I'm not seeing from where I'm sitting uh, on the board. But So onward and upward, uh, we're gonna try and make some money for the last two months of this year, try to really bang it out, and hit the road a little bit. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.